Cape Cast. Well, it was an interesting and challenging set of days out at Stage Harbor in Chatham last week. The mission, hoist a historic Coast Guard boathouse onto a barge and take it up to a temporary home in Quincy. Contractor Jay Cashman provided the men and machines to move the house from its waterfront lot, saving it from being demolished. Now, why did you decide to become involved in this? Well, I, you know, twofold. One, one is I live here in town, and, and uh, so I wanted to do something nice for the town. You know, I'm a part of the community. My you know, kids are growing up here and so forth. But also, uh, it's a bit of a tip of the hat, you know, for myself to the Coast Guard. You know, this preserves a piece of the, the history. But the move was harder than folks thought it would be, mainly because there was such a small window of high tide time to cozy the barge up to the boathouse. On day one, a broken hydraulic hose on the giant crane delayed the move enough to miss the tide window, so the move was put off for a day. That gave us a chance to find out a little more about the boathouse project. What do you know about the history of the boathouse? Uh, I'm starting to look into it further. Uh, I believe it was built in the mid-1930s. Um, I think the use was discontinued by the Coast Guard in the mid to late 60s, um, and it's now privately owned. And what about it appeal to you? Uh, I've been a sailor all my life and uh, always been on the water and respect the Coast Guard and all they do. Uh, and it's a building that's certainly part of Chatham's modern maritime history and definitely deserves to be saved. So the, the goal would be to get this building up there, maybe fix it up and then bring it back here? Well, at least store it there temporarily. Um, I'm going to set up a nonprofit, uh, save the Stage Harbor Boathouse Inc., and uh, go forward. We'll seek community funds for historical preservation and move forward. So I'm very optimistic we'll get it back in Chatham. Day two looked promising, and we had the chance to talk with the foreman on the job about how you lift a boathouse with a crane. Now, what are some of the challenges of moving an old building like this? Um, well, it's got to be supported correctly, uh, picked up properly. There's a lot of work that, that went into it, designing it, you know, the uh, structure to pick it. Of course, the right size crane and barge as well. And how long will the journey take once it gets on the barge and gets up to Quincy? It should take anywhere from 24 to 32 hours, somewhere around there. But the building was heavier than had been estimated, and the crane wasn't close enough to the house to lift it. And trying to figure out the angles, Foreman Paul Ledwell fell off the barge and into the drink. The crowd gasped, but he was okay. But that was it for day two. The boathouse stayed in place. Finally, on Sunday, the gods of leverage cooperated, and the house was hoisted onto the barge and began a slow journey to Quincy. Cape Cass. Yes.